This is vintage footage from UNLV's very first meeting with San Jose State back in 1981. That's back when current coach Tony Sanchez was just a kid. I was probably playing light pole to light pole football on the street, running the buck and hook on the, the red truck, you know? So, uh, yeah, that's a long time ago. It's also been a long time since UNLV has beaten the Spartans. San Jose State has won five in a row over UNLV with 95 their last win in the series. We've talked to the team all week. This is going to be a tough ball game. The two schools have met 19 times with the Spartans holding a 13-5-1 series edge. at 16-16 tie coming in 1985. Coming off that emotionally draining battle-borne win over rival Reno and celebrating the cannon on campus, UNLV's biggest challenge this week will be to sustain that emotion. It's been a grind emotionally, but that's part of building a program. Our guys have to be, we've talked about it all week, we're developing competitive maturity. After a win, we got to just refocus. Like you said, we got to come back and just start preparing for San Jose. We got to just move on. We got to uh, leave that in the past and uh, focus on what's, what's coming up. After a win, we can celebrate that night or celebrate that win and, um, you know, we just move on. we got to focus on the next teams. The guys will be ready to go Saturday. I have full faith in them. Saturday's win has national prognosticators putting UNLV in the Idaho Bowl in December. Sanchez says, hold on, that's nice for recruiting, but recognition, reality, comes Saturday. I mean, when we run out against San Jose, you know, we need to have, you know, 30,000 people in that stadium rocking. And if, you know, if they do that, you know, that that's the type of recognition we're looking for, people to get excited and jazzed about the program, where it's going, the hard work and sacrifice these young men are making, and, and the impact that we can have on this entire community.